Since the beginning of time, humans have foraged and hunted to survive on this planet. It is in our DNA to be hunters and gatherers, but with time, we have gotten used to the comfort of going to grocery stores and restaurants to satisfy our hunger. While some depend solely on these comforts, some people still enjoy harvesting their own wildlife such as our ancestors once did. Whether it's big game or migratory birds, our tactics have changed quite significantly. With the advancement in our technology and more regulations put in place by our government, it is every hunter's responsibility to hunt as safe and responsibly as possible. Which is why I want to teach you how to duck hunt as safe and as efficient as I can. Before one can hunt any type of game animal, a state hunting license must be purchased. Depending on the state you live in, it can decide what animals can be hunted and other regulations that must be followed. Here in Texas, it is required that any hunter must take a hunter's education course after the age of 9 and must possess a hunter's license by the age of 17. Another requirement that is unique to migratory bird hunting is having a harvest information program certificate along with having the Federal Migratory Bird Hunting and Conservation Stamp, also known as a duck stamp. Once all of the paperwork side of duck hunting is complete, it comes to the rules and regulations of hunting. The only type of firearm that is allowed for duck hunting is a shotgun that must meet certain requirements. These can include not being larger than a 10 gauge, being able to hold more than three shells at a time, or using shells that are not steel shot. If the hunter abides by these rules, the firearm is legal to use to hunt. There are also many laws about the tactics that can be used to draw the ducks in. One big thing that is highly illegal when it comes to duck hunting is hunting a baited area. This provides hunters with an unfair advantage and does not promote good ethics. But you can use other tactics such as decoys, mouth calls, and using a retrieval dog you can also even hunt from a boat and on public waters, but there are certain regulations regarding those. But for our purposes, we'll be focused on hunting from land, not water. Hunting from a duck blind is illegal here in Texas. And with that, there are two types that are very popular. An A-frame and layout blinds. Both have been quite successful for me in the past. In my opinion though, layout blinds are more enjoyable because they block out the cold wind and they give you more of an adrenaline rush when you come out of the blind. With this type of blind, you are near other hunters if you're hunting in a group. This means that extra precautions must be taken so that accidents are avoided at all costs. The most important part about hunting in a group is maintaining a safe shooting angle. This refers to how far and how wide you swing your gun to shoot at the ducks. Obviously, you never, ever point a weapon at something you don't intend to shoot because that's how accidents happen. In order to avoid an accident, a safe zone of fire must be established which will be dependent on each situation but is typically set at about a 45 degree angle starting directly in front of the hunter. Once all of the safety precautions are taken, we can start duck hunting. Half an hour before sunrise is when hunting can legally start. After that, the ducks just need to fly in. Some other general rules in order to responsibly hunt ducks include not shooting sitting ducks, which obviously means don't shoot them if they're not in the air. It is not only unfair to the ducks because obviously they're just sitting there, but also to the other hunters that respect that general rule. Another main rule of duck hunting is the bag limit. Legally, only six ducks are allowed to be harvested per hunter per day. There are even more regulations within that rule, such as only having five of the six being mallards, with two of those five being mallard hens and many other regulations. But as long as all the rules and safety precautions are followed, and the birds are coming in, you'll have a fun and safe duck hunt.